Hey, since my original video got blocked, we'll try another one. This thing that we're going to be looking at, pH, stands for power of hydrogen. And it is a very short and simple, easy question that lets us take something called the concentration of H plus and turn it into pH. And to do this, we use logarithms. I should spell it right. Logarithms. We. Here's how we do it. We're going to use this real simple equation. pH is equal to negative log of H plus. So all you need is the H plus from your acid solution and the log button, which you can find right here on your calculator right here next to the number seven. So I'll show you how this works. And we'll do a couple of these and then we'll be in good shape. Let's try this first example. What is the pH of a solution where the concentration of H plus is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. So we're going to plug it right into this equation. pH is equal to negative log of H plus. And since in this particular example it gives it to you, we're simply going to say negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. So let's bust out your calculator. We're going to say negative log and it's going to set up the parentheses for us just like this. 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. You don't need the closed parentheses but I'm going to do it anyway. Tells us this, this has a pH of 5. Now I know that you have all had in a junior high level science course, they tell you that acids are substances that have a pH that is less than seven and that bases have a pH that is greater than seven and that solutions that are what we call neutral have a pH that equals 7. So that would tell us that this is clearly an acid. All right, let's try a couple more of these. Let's say that we were going to try a solution and we didn't know the H plus, but we did know the concentration of the starting solution. And let's use 1 times 10 to the negative fifth for this one as well. So you've done this before. You know what happens when we dissociate an acid or a base. And that means that our concentration of sodium is 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that our concentration of hydroxide is also 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. So we know this. 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. And clearly... This has to be a base. It contains hydroxide. So if I was going to ask you to find the pH, well, we've got a slight snag because pH is equal to negative log of H+. Plus. Well, this isn't an acid. It isn't producing H+. Plus. It's a base. It's producing OH-. minus. How do we do this? Well, you remember from the first part on uh, calculating OH and H+, plus that H plus is equal to Kw divided by hydroxide. Kw is a constant. Always equals to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. 
So if we know our concentration of OH minus, we can easily find our concentration of H plus just by putting it into our calculator. So we're going to take 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, excuse me, 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, divided by the concentration of base or hydroxide, which you already know, 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. Here is our concentration of H plus, 1 times 10 to the negative ninth. So now you know the concentration of H plus, 1 times 10 to the negative ninth. You can easily plug it into our equation for calculating pH. It's equal to negative log of the H plus, which you just found. Negative log 1 times 10 to the negative ninth. Here's our calculator. Negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative ninth. Boop! There is our pH equals 9. And this should fit because we know that bases have a pH that is greater than 7. So a pH of 9 totally fits. Let's do one more. Let's say I was going to ask you to calculate the concentration of a solution of H2CO3. Let's say that we knew that this was 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. But we know that it dissociates to produce twice as many H pluses. So 2 times 10 to the negative fifth molar H plus. 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar carbonate. We're not worried about that. We are interested in the pH equal to negative log of the H plus, which you just found. Negative log of 2 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. So let's bust out our calculator. We know that we have negative log of 2 times 10 to the, sorry, negative log of 2 times 10 to the negative fifth molar is 4.7. Cool. A couple of things that's interesting about this one is that it is clearly an acid. Its pH is clearly less than 7. But even And even more interesting, even though its concentration was 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar, just like this first example we did, that 1 times 10 to the negative fifth molar gave us a pH of 5. But when we do that in an acid that has two H pluses, our concentration of H plus is slightly higher, and that means our pH is slightly more acidic. Give it a try.